Assalamu alaikum everyone. Um, good morning, good afternoon, whenever you are watching this video. So, today's topic and today's story is the Dog newspaper. As you know very well, that each and every video is a short summary of what we have done in that week. So, after the week, we uploaded the video so you can see. And you can find the answers and you can find the solutions of your problems if you fail during the lesson. So this video is going to summarize uh, the, the vocabulary. The second part we are going to summarize the story. The third thing which was very important we talked about fact and opinion. And as we discussed related to the story what are the facts in that and what are the re uh, opinion in the story and the last thing was the part of the grammar which we have done which was coordinating conjunctions so step by step i'm going to do that the story is the dog newspaper the very important thing was the author because the story genre is autobiography so an autobiography is a person's account of his or her own life. As you read, look for first person point of view, the author's personal thoughts and feelings, information about the author's life. So whenever we read an autobiography, we can come to know something personal about the author. Understand? We can get to know that what kind of life he or she was living, their own experiences regarding to some special events, and it can be related to their whole life. It depends upon the writer, how do they write. So here we go. This is our writer. And as I have shown you already one autobiography of the author, something related to her. So her name was? This is, we are going to see. Meet the author, Peg Carrett. BJ may have been the first animal to inspire Peg Carrett's writing, but he certainly was not the last. The author loves animals and lives with several adopted pets. She has written both fiction and nonfiction, including Shelter Dogs, Amazing Stories of Adopted Strays. Okay, so this was one of the aspect of author's life that she used to love dogs and that's why she used to write about them. If I'm going to talk more about her, so this is, she's one of my favorite author because she's an award-winning author. So her childhood, teenage years and adulthood, she has success and obstacles. So what was about his early life? You know, when we are reading biography, of course, we need to know what kind of life she was passing. So it will be more clear to us that uh, what kind of writer she was. So Childhood Packard was born on November 11, 1936 in Wisconsin. She grew up in Austin, Wisconsin. She had a great childhood except she had polio this was the only problem but this was the dangerous problem horrible thing Kara started off trying out for every school play there was she found out that she loved writing and being in plays so as we read even in the story that at the age of 10 she started writing so when Kat was older, she graduated from Austin High School and then attended the University of Minnesota. But for one year only, due to her marriage to Carl Carrot in 1955 and her child adoptions, Carrot later went back for two more years and found out that she wanted to publish plays and she did. That's an amazing thing what she did, adulthood. As an adult, she was still publishing plays she actually won a few awards for publishing plays and this is what she has done her success she has some published books she won awards okay this was something which was like really we can feel sorry but she had polio but she was paralyzed from the neck down 
but in in a very short time she covered herself and this was her college situation like we can see that we are we are facing some people who who are giving us not only knowledge you know, they are giving us their own experience and we can learn from them that how they got the sec success okay so this was the story of Pekka now we will go back and we will focus on our vocabulary this was the first thing we did and as I told you so many times that in your own textbook it is helping you to understand the meaning because sometimes we cannot get the meaning but when we are reading the sentence we can get it what is the first word one career. career the career or chosen work of a journalist involves carefully gathering the facts the word career means the chosen work of our profession what we, what we want to do uh, like my career is a teaching okay any profession second word is two publication. publication a news publication might take the form of a newspaper news magazine or website so you can see the news publication they take the form of a news we publish them in the form of news in papers and in the form of magazines so this is publication background years of experience as reporter often gave tv newscaster their needed background so background we know that when we talk about someone's past what happened there that is called background right so household see the word four household mm -hmm. this boy delivers newspapers to nearly every household in his neighborhood okay understand even I will open the worksheet for you don't you worry so the next word is just listen five insights during interviews reporters hear the insights and opinions of other people so I can say that insights can be views can be opinions of other people right six required TV cameras are often required or needed to record all the action at a sports event see these sentences are great they are helping me to understand the meaning of required needed okay seven uneventful this meteorologist predicts an uneventful week the weather won't change much. Mm, meaningless, which doesn't have a lot of meaning. And the next word is addition, a special edition or version of a newspaper. So it's a, a new look for something. Next word, number nine. Nine, formula. Use this formula or rule in all news articles. Tell who, what, when, where, why, and how. The formula means what, whatever the things like we can have a formula of uh, making pizza or making uh, some thing in, in like whenever you do science, science experiments you need some formulas to put the material together and do the experiment okay so now last word 10 destruction papers reported that the destruction caused by the hurricane left some people homeless okay so we can see the destruction here even in the picture which can give us a clear sense right so let's move to the worksheet okay this easy busy worksheet was worksheet number one we have the meaning carrier a profession publication any print product such as magazine book or newspaper Household, the people who live in a house, edition, version, specific issue. Required means necessaries, which needed. Formula means set of rules or steps. Background, the details of a person's things past. Insight, understanding on an issue, point of view. Uneventful means unimportant, insignificant, and destruction means vast damage or devastation or ruin. So these were the words 
and then we can see that here we have some options to choose and these were analogies what we had to do we had to find the connection between the previous one either they are the synonyms they are the same words or they are the opposite words so by these choice we had to do this and we had to find it so what like built to room so they are opposite if they are opposite what i have to do construction to if build is for construction then rune is for destruction. If office is related to job, office building, then job could be a carrier. So what we had to do, we had to match the words. Language is to tongue as memory is to brain. We had to find the connection between this previous one. If we, uh, we found the connection here, then we can easily find what is the connection brain with. So we can choose the word from here, memory. Okay, I'm sharing the worksheet with you so you will be able to know and get the answers. All the words are here, we have here we have done, and this is the worksheet. Uh, this is the second part of the worksheet, and the, it is very clear. This fill in the blanks are from the story. So while we are reading the story and the things are clear to us and the meanings are clear mashallah you people have done this great job and you have solved this worksheet so here all the words we know the meaning we can do that okay answers are available here in front of you and you can see that okay students so the second part of the story was uh, the reading one which we have done we have done and we started to knowing that uh, there is a girl who started writing and she has a publication with the name of the dog newspaper and she is taking interviews and later on she came to know that whatever the interview she is taking for that is not as much interesting then she started telling us an interesting relationship between her and her pet whose name was BJ. Then she started saying that from where the BJ came, what kind, like how he was spending his, it was spending his time with army and how it came to her, how he traveled and then there is a deep connection between them. So she is telling us all these details which we have read. So students, for that, I, I have given you this worksheet, which is worksheet number two. This is a summary. So you can see what is on the page number 444, page number 445, 446, and 547, then 548. So these are the key ideas. You can read them. The author Peck had free counts that her writing career began when she was 10 years old. She decided to publish her own newspaper, but it was difficult to get interesting stories from her neighbors. That's when she turned to her own dog, BJ. See, this is what I told you. So when you will read all this summary, it will help you to understand the story in a more better way. Okay? the third thing we have done was fact and opinion so let's move to that i will show you this shortest part only i will not show the video because you, the link is already available with you i will show you the presentation only and then we can move to the worksheet okay so we started fact and opinion with a very simple step by knowing what is a fact and what is an opinion so here we go with a simple definition a fact is an event known to have happened or something known to have existed real reality this is something that can be proven to be true or false important thing this is something that can be proven to be true or false example of a fact snakes are reptiles the earth is round so this is the fact you can prove it and you cannot change it this is called fact what is an opinion 
An opinion is something that you believe to be true but might not be. This can be an attitude or judgment that cannot be proven. It can be your attitude, it can be your judgment, it can be true, it cannot be. For example, if I say I am beautiful, <laughs> then that means this is my perspective. Maybe for other people I am not beautiful. Maybe for some people I am a good person, but for others I am not. So this is called opinion, okay? Fact and opinion. The girl has beautiful hair. What it could be? What do you guess? Fact or opinion? For me, I think it's an opinion. Because maybe. Hmm, I don't like the hair. So they cannot say that this is beautiful. So this is an opinion. This is an opinion because this is what you personally think. Just because you think the girl has beautiful hair doesn't mean that she actually has beautiful hair. We cannot prove this to be true or false. Okay, well let's come for the another option. George Washington was the first president in the United States of America. Is that a fact or is that an opinion? Well, you cannot change this reality. Who was the first president in the United States of America? George Washington. So, this is a fact because we can prove it to be true or false. So, this is, that's it. That's it, students. That's it for the... Uh, for the worksheet, now let's move to the fact and opinion worksheet. Mm. Okay, so I, I don't want to waste your time, so that's why I just I'm summarizing everything so we can cover and you can come to know. So fact, here this is the worksheet which you have solved the students in the class. Blue is the prettiest color. For some people can be, but not for everyone. So this is an opinion. It can be false. Sarah went to the store on Monday. This is the reality fact. If people go, if someone went there, she can prove it. She went there. So this is a fact which cannot be changed. So these are the some examples, students. And the answers are in front of you. Okay? You have done this in the class. I just want to make it clear for you again. Okay, so this was the uh, exercise from the story. The author expresses the opinion that BJ's life was as eventful as other dogs' life. Could be an opinion, right? How does the author give more information about the characters at the beginning of the passage? By inserting a flashback where BJ came from. So, of course, you know when we see in the movies, a flashback goes like in things go in the past and then we started oh when she was a kid she was so beautiful or something happened with her so that is called flashback and it makes the story interesting so this is how they make the story interesting here which sentence from the passage states a main idea of the text i explained students that the soldier fought to protect the free world bj did his duty too this was the wonderful act which tells post the main idea that BJ was showered with loving attention. BJ was flown here. This was a one of them. Because if you know the story, if you read the story, then you are able to answer. The last part, the gingerbread house was absolutely breathtaking. Which word is giving or showing an opinion? Gingerbread can be. No. House can be. No. So breathtaking is giving me an opinion about that. So students, that's it. So inshallah for the further writing and grammar, I will make another video. But for this story I have done because the important thing we had to do was the summary and we had to know about the facts and opinions related to the story. If I'll move to the story, we will finish it in the next week. And then we can come to know some important parts later on when we will finish it 
I will explain you each and every detail. So this is the only thing what we did and that's a great thing we have done, facts and opinions. Okay students, that's it for, for this video. Inshallah for the coming video we will come to know about some main idea and the detailed events of the story after completing it. Thanks for your time and thanks for listening it. Take care of yourself, stay safe and stay home. Bye-bye. Allah Hafiz.